What is up everybody? I'm with The Misfit and welcome to my channel. So this morning, I knew that I wanted to film a video today, but I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do yet until I went to grab my morning tea just to get my day going and I realized I had grabbed my last tea bag. And I was looking at this container and I was just like, I can't just throw this out, it's so nice. So we're gonna repurpose this today. I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm gonna paint on this. So you guys are just coming along for the ride. Let's get into it. So to start, I'm gonna go ahead and gesso this whole thing. So it gives me a really even surface area to work on. Oh, I really need to work on keeping this clean, Jesus. All right, so I went to grab everything that I needed. To start, I'm gonna go ahead and gesso this whole thing just to give me a nice, even surface area to work on. So let's go ahead and do that. Whoa. While I'm doing this, I just wanted to take a quick moment to thank you guys so much for watching my videos. If you've been here before and you've been enjoying them so far, please make sure you're subscribed. That helps me out so much. And if it's your first time watching, feel free to stick around, watch a few more videos, you know, get a real feel for the channel. And then if you enjoy them, please hit that subscribe button. Okay, so I painted the whole thing white, but then I realized that I'm not going to be able to put the cap on because of all the layers of gesso, at least not easily. So I'm just going to go ahead and sand this off and then maybe just paint it with one layer of black, just so it's not the uh, ugly green color. So yeah, let's do that. Alright, that'll do it. It's a little scuffed up now, but that's okay, because at the end we're going to cover that up with black paint. At this point, I haven't decided on exactly what I want to paint, but I know that I'm going to want it to be very colorful. So each side of the tin is going to be a different color. Now in order to achieve nice straight lines, I'm going to put some masking tape down before painting. Now that I have my tape down nice and even, I've chosen a dark blue color for my first side, and I'm going to go ahead and paint several layers of that on. Okay, now let's go ahead and peel that tape right off. And now we've got our first side done. I went ahead and repeated the taping process for the next side, and I chose a very vibrant red color for it. And now we're repeating this again with a nice sunny yellow. Taking the tape off is so satisfying at this point. I mean, just look at that. Ugh. Now we have just one side left to paint. And for this, I've chosen a very beautiful green. Okay, now that we're all done with that, check it out. Look at those edges. I think everything's looking pretty nice. All right. Now let's move on to painting all the parts that are going to be black. So that's going to be the top of the tin, the bottom of the tin, and also the lid. All right, let's get this tape off and finally say goodbye to the masking tape because we're all done with that and it's time to get into the main design. I made up my mind and decided on painting my little alien dude, Zor. So I'm gonna pick three different colors for each side of the tin, and I'm going to paint him in those colors and try to keep it as consistent as possible. But we'll see how that works out. For my first little guy, as you can see, I've chosen mint, pink, and yellow. It's 
to be honest, I'm a little nervous about doing the black outline on these, so I'm going to go ahead and save that for the end. For this guy, I'm going to keep the yellow, mint, and pink color combo, but I'm going to switch it up a little bit. to the red. For this one I wanted to include a darker color so I swapped out the pink for purple making the color combos purple, yellow, and mint. Finally for my last side I decided to change up my color palette a bit because I wanted Zora to really pop out against that yellow background so I went with a red, light green, and a dark blue. And now it's time for the moment I've been dreading, the line work. I personally have a hard time drawing on raised surfaces because I just don't have that stability of having, you know, my arm resting on something. And I don't really draw on raised surfaces too often, so I don't have that practice yet. So I was really nervous to take this on, but I think it all worked out. So I'll see you guys at the end to show you the outcome. I know I said I wouldn't be back until the end, but I'm wondering how long it's gonna take me to realize that I left my freaking AirPods in the frame. Oh, there we go. All right, I got it. See you guys at the end. Done! Finally done. Check it out. All but that one came out pretty consistent. I think just that first side was a little bit wonky. But look at that. It's so cute. Let me know in the comments what you think. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!